How you doing? I'm Chris Connors from CustomWoodCarvings.com and today we're going to carve a four foot sitting bear. I'll be right back. Let's take a look. Alright, we have a white pine log here. It is a little over two feet thick and four feet tall and you can see I have a grid drawn on it. I've got a vertical line then I've got horizontal lines every foot to mark out my four feet. And then up here, I also have my crosshairs. And uh, this is where my first mark is, here and here, uh, to carve the head. And the way I know that is because of my, get the child's toy out of there, of my diagram right here. Um, I just measured from here out, and that's a half a foot. Each one of these blocks is a foot. Okay, so I could tell just by looking at it, a half a foot is where I can safely cut. I'm gonna go down a foot, and then I'm gonna angle it out, angle it out, and just start blocking out this, get, you know, removing this negative space here. And then I'll flip it and go ahead and do this. This is what it should look like. We're uh, gonna do, oops, sorry. We're going to do a, uh, a sitting bear looking like this. Alright, so I just cut these, this line and this line out down to the foot mark. Now what I'm going to do is I measured from here out, and that's about 8 inches. So I put a mark at eight inches. So I'm gonna start right here, come out to eight inches, and then go straight down to the next foot mark. And here's my marks here, okay? Just did that, and then here's my eight inch mark, and about halfway down, so I'm gonna go from here, go at an angle till I hit that, and then go straight down on both sides. So here you can see I'm going to come out a couple more inches. So I came down, bam, hit this. Now I'm going to come down and angle it out a couple more inches and then go straight down to the base from there. Here's what it looks like. Okay, going down, hitting that line right there. So I'm going to go down and then angle out to that line down to the base. All right, so here's our profile sketch, and I've drawn it onto the log. And I'm just going to start making, blocking this out now, starting cutting out these negative spaces here. And let's see how it turns out. All right, now what I'm going to do is, is uh, cut right here and cut here to reveal the snout. And then I'm going to switch over to my quarter pitch, my quarter tip bar, and start with the ears, reveal the ears, sink down the top of the head, and then uh, we can start defining the head a little more. All right, so I'm working on the head now. I've blocked out these ears like this so far and basically what I've learned with bears is starting with the ears is necessary. I cut down at a diagonal, curve it down, curve it down, drop down the middle area right in here, round the back side of the ear on both sides and this is going to get rounded this way too. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I drew the profile of the snout here. I'm going to refine that, cut down underneath the chin, and remove all this stuff. Round out the back of the neck in here, like it's all squared out. So I'm just going to round all these corners out and just spend some time just refining the head. Just basically rounding things out and refining the form. 
you can see how the snout here is is oval all right so what I'm doing here is I've rounded out the head and stuff like that and here is the two lines that start the oval I'm gonna start from this line and oval it out start on this line and oval it out and you'll notice that these lines aren't totally parallel they actually start a little bit narrower at the nose and they kind of widen a teeny bit as they go towards the forehead this will oval out and then what really looks slick is this angle back so you'll see the nose goes around there's a little bit for that upper lip and then it just angles way back and that's what gives it a nice realistic look one of the things I notice about bears is they're very aerodynamic, the head. Starting at the nose, it should basically go straight back and all this should be really round. Goes back, 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 back. So you can see I made these cuts here and here and they leave these nasty chunks here. So starting right here, right at, right at the base of that snout, and by the way, it doesn't go straight down here. It starts here and comes forward a little bit for that cheekbone and then it goes back in. So this part here is rounded. But from there, this gets pulled right back against the side of the face. So it's very aerodynamic. It comes right to a point. And uh, it looks really good when you do that. The tendency, I think, is to not do that. And it ends up looking bulky and, and there's something not very natural looking. All right. so. What I've done here is I've uh, just refined the top of the head. I still got to do these lower cheeks in here. But in order to do that, I really need to have an idea of what's going on with the neck and uh, the chest. So here I carved a line to show uh, this chunk that needs to come out. I need to be careful because the arm is right here and the hand comes out right here. Now on the other side, it's the opposite. The hand is up here on top. Okay, he's raising his arm up here, so I need to be careful about that. That's what I'm going to do next here is, is take out these chunks, and then I can start refining that part of the face and the upper body. So here we are. The bear is taking form. And I'm at the end of my day here. So, this is what it looks like so far. So, I want to show you what I do to fix bad cuts. So you can see, right here, I made a bad cut, went too far. So here's what I do. I just make a shim. I take one of my scraps here and make sure that I cut, you know, along the grain. And so I just cut this piece right out of there. I just cut it the thickness of the saw. And then, uh, you know, take a hand saw and shape the angles however I need to. And then what I'm going to do is, is glue that right in there. I'll show you the glue that I've been happy with. Uh, I've experimented with different glues. And this one is a... I, I'm happy with this one. Elmer's. Carpenter's Wood Glue Max. I got it at Walmart. It's waterproof and stainable and uh, I've just had really good success with it. So I'm going to glue in that shim uh, with this and it should be ready for tomorrow. Alright, so here's what it looks like. I put the shim in, glued it real good, and I just took some fine sawdust and, and pushed it in any of the cracks that were still showing. 